Welcome to Sex Ed with DB. I'm your host, DB. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone. DB here. I wanted to do a little mini-sode for sexual health professionals who listen to this podcast or people who are aspiring to be sexual health professionals. And the main topic that we're diving into today is essential for aspiring sexual health professionals, whether you're an educator, a content creator, a coach, a sex therapist, uh, basically anything in the sexual health sphere. Um, Maybe you teach in the classroom or maybe you want to create content on the internet. Um, This is for you. So The topic that we're diving into today is how to cultivate your brand and make a living in this vital field. We're going to talk all about creating your brand, what's important, and how I actually do this. Like, how do I make Sex Ed with DB a six figure business? I'm going to share all of those tips with you. And so, whether you're just here starting out or looking to refine your approach, I have some practical insights to help you thrive. So let's kick things off with the foundation of your journey, which is cultivating your sexual health brand. Uh, Your brand is more than just a logo, right? It's more than just colors. It's your voice. It's your values and how you connect with your audience. Authenticity is really, really key here. So it's important to really share your story, your unique story that only you have, and let your personality shine through because people really want to connect with the real you. Next up, relationships really, really matter in this space. Building connections with other brands and sponsors in the sexual health space can really propel your career forward like it has mine. Collaborating with like-minded professionals, attending events, and engaging in conversations online is also really, really important to building those authentic relationships. Don't be shy about reaching out. I use this approach of cold DMing constantly, every day, literally at least once a day, I'm DMing someone new who I want to collaborate with, whether that's an illustrator or uh, uh, someone who I want to have sponsor the podcast, or it's someone who's a sex educator and I just really like their work. Like Networking is crucial, so make sure to prioritize that. Now, let's talk about going viral. I think that's a question that I get really often in, in this space is like, how do I go viral? Right. And I think like, it's important to say that it's not just luck. There's really, there is a formula and there is an algorithm. And so focusing on creating content that resonates with your audience, it's important to use whatever superpower that you have for us. I think for sex Ed with DB, I really like using humor relatable experiences and really timely topics to get people interested in the content, but that might not be what you're interested in. Maybe you're interested in more so talking about the news or policy or things that impact pleasure or being silly or reacting to, you know, crazy things on the internet like Drew Afualo. I'm sure all of you have seen her, like the queen that she is. So engaging visuals and catchy captions can also help your posts spread to as many people as possible. Now let's talk about growing your audience. Um, To grow your audience, you're really going to need the right tools. And so using analytics platforms to track your engagement, to understand what content performs best is really, really critical, right? Like if we are doing the same mistakes over and over again and not learning what the analytics and the data show, then how are we going to expect to get better, right? So like leveraging social media scheduling tools, and maintaining a consistent posting schedule like we do at Sex Ed with DB will really, really help you. And really, I'm asking you, hardcore, don't underestimate the power of community. Like Your followers want to hear from you. They want to hear from you in their DMs, in their comments. Creating conversations can be a really important way that you can grow your following and get those super fans. But what about burnout? (laughs) This is something that I think is really important to talk about Um, content creation can be really draining. I know for myself, waking up every morning and feeling like, oh, I have to create something every single day, like that feels overwhelming to me. So it's important to set boundaries, to schedule breaks, limiting your work hours and not feel pressured to post every single day. Uh, quality over quantity is crucial and your audience will really appreciate the care that you put into your content rather than just 
getting something out there that you don't really believe in. Um, for sex ed with DB, of course, sometimes it can feel like, oh, this isn't as strong as another piece of content, but do I think this is funny? Do I think this is sending out a message that I like? Like, as long as I'm checking those boxes, I feel comfortable putting out the content that we're, we're putting out. So speaking of quality, you know, this is all kind of like wrapped up in like cultivating your brand and really like ensuring that your, your brand is saying and doing what you want it to do in order for you to make a living doing what you want to do. And so part of that, as we, I kind of mentioned a little earlier is like staying authentic, right? So sticking to your brand values and mission is really, really important and whatever expertise that you have, whether it's you're like me and you have an MPH, or maybe you have a master's in sexuality, or maybe you have lived experience teaching in the classroom or as a sex worker, whatever it is that you want to share with your audience, you can share your insights in a way that feels natural to you. So your audience will really appreciate this authenticity. It'll help you stand out in a crowded space. And now it's time to talk money, talk cash, talk dollars, um, because that's the other Half of this is like figuring out how to make a living in this field. That's what everyone wants to know. Like how exactly do you do it, right? And the first thing that I want to say is that pricing yourself correctly is essential. It should really reflect your experience and the value you provide. I highly recommend assessing your skills, the demand for your services, and being flexible as you grow in your career. For us, very, very much so when I was starting out, there was, you know, $250 that I would offer for an Instagram post, for example. And as we grew, realized that the demand was there. And so play around with your pricing and see what the response is and get a bunch of information from potential sponsors to see maybe some of them say no, maybe some of them say yes, maybe you're right there in the correct pricing in the middle, but you don't want to price yourself too low and you, if you get the feedback that consistently your prices are too high, you might want to bring them down. So make sure to be flexible and experiment. Here's another crucial aspect to figuring out like what exactly it is or how you can price yourself is again, using those data analytics, understanding the numbers behind your content can really tell a compelling story. And if you track your metrics and see what works and what doesn't, you can use that data to inform your strategy moving forward and your price points. So if you're getting a ton of engagement on a post, you can go back to that sponsor and say, hey, we you know, chatted about a $250 Instagram post. This did so well. I think this is now valued at $400 and here's why. And you can explain that with data analytics. Now, when it comes to setting up your business, it's really important to not overlook the details. So make sure that you have contract templates in place. Make sure you file your LLC and keep your bookkeeping organized. And this foundation will save you headaches down the line. So the real question is here, how do you make a living as a sexual health expert on the internet? And the answer to that is to diversify your income streams. You can offer workshops to people, coaching sessions, create paid content, organic content, develop a subscription model for exclusive content, teach in the classroom, consult. The possibilities are truly endless. And so it's really important for you to understand what skills are you bringing to the table in order for you to make up your content streams. For Sex Ed with DB, we rely heavily on our main sponsors and we have yearly contracts with them that include a whole bunch of stuff, podcast ads, social media ads, uh, giveaways, in-person events, and more. And so that's the business model that I have created for Sex Ed with DB, but maybe that's not the best business model for you. Maybe your business model is that you want to create content for other brands, and that's the main way that you're making income. Maybe you want to do more one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and that's your main way of making making the money that you make. Maybe you want to make curriculum for sex ed organizations, or you want to consult with them on an hourly basis, right? Like it really does depend on what you are most interested in doing, but I promise you that you can do this. Um, you know, as we wrap up this mini sode, I want you to remember that you're not alone on this journey. Um, and you know, I, I really want to share a little bit more about my, my workshop, which is building a profitable online sexual health brand. Because at the end of this workshop, participants walk away with invaluable resources 
brand guidelines, social media ad templates, financial skills, and connections to other educators and all of my sponsors, uh, as well as just like all of the information that I gave in this mini-sode times a million. <laughs> like there is uh, many hours of content with homework and you know being able to see how other people do this. It's a community. And uh, I just want to share a quote from Sex Ed Princess, who's Jill Listener, um, who was a participant in my workshop this year. And this is what she said. This workshop series was beyond what I thought it would be. I gained 5,000 plus new followers on Instagram in less than two weeks. Uh, and I just I just want you to imagine what you could achieve. Um, and if you're serious about building your sexual health brand, uh, I think my workshop could really help you. I think it would help you network, join a great community, and most importantly, really figure out how you can stay true to yourself and cultivate your unique brand. So if you want to learn more, go to www.sexedwithdb.com slash workshop, and you can watch uh, an hour of free content. Uh, it's called top, my, DB's Top 5 Tips for Building a Profitable Online Sexual Health Brand, again, for free. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, email me at sexedwithdb at gmail.com because I can't wait to, to meet you. Um, and the first 10 folks to email me and sign up will, will get a $100 discount. Um, so if you are within that, that first 10 people, I'll make sure to give you your special discount. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, keep cultivating your brand, keep making a difference in the world of sexual health. I love you. You're so amazing. And we'll talk soon.